Hey everybody, I'm Gloria Altania. And I'm Betty Bima. And you're watching 10 out of 10 with the Pavlum Partners. Today is all about tacos. Yes, that's right. This countdown, we're going to talk about our favorite taco spots in Southern California. I hope you guys like this list. It has a few mom and pop shops, like family owned restaurants. And then we have like taco stands and food trucks. Mm -hmm. And it's all our personal favorites. So I hope you're ready for the treat. In 1992, Martha and Marlo Tormel opened Cactus Taqueria No. 1 in Hollywood, California. The couple wanted a nice taco stand that delivered quick and fresh Mexican specialties, such as authentic tacos al pastor, nachos, corne asada fries, tortas, and much, much more to the people of Hollywood in Los Angeles. Cactus Taqueria is known to have a variety of Mexican dishes served for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This particular restaurant should definitely be your go-to spot for something quick, tasty, and fulfilling. The owners of Cactus are passionate about bringing their authentic cuisine to customers, now having four different locations. Dude, I love that place. Yeah, I think we um we've discovered this when we first came to California. So uh, we've been eating it for a while, huh? Yeah, definitely. It's like the quick go to, especially if you're coming from like the house party or the club or Hollywood Boulevard. You definitely want to go there because it's quick. It's affordable. It's a nice social hangout, you know, and they have multiple locations across L.A. Yeah, and it's just like, you know what you're getting when you go to Cactus. You know it's going to be seasoned meat, tender seasoned. meat. <laughs> That's most important, having seasoned meat. Because sometimes yeah. you get asada beef, you know, and it's like, tastes like it's boiled. And you're like, what is this? You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. Which is, that's very rare in LA, though. Because most people do grill their meat, their uh, corne asada and stuff. So Yeah, and I'm happy for that. <laughs> <laughs> In Tacos We Trust is the motto of this pick on the list. Guisados is home to the stewed and braised taco, reminiscent of your abuelas or madres cooking. Filled with simmered vegetables, a variety of chilies, and flavorful tender meat on a warm homemade corn tortilla, Guisados offers 17 anytime tacos along with breakfast, fresh juice drinks, and tamales. Their menu includes popular options such as tinga de pollo, steak picado, and the vegan-friendly frijoles con queso. Founded in 2010 by father and son duo Armando de la Torre Sr. and Armando de la Torre Jr., the birthplace of this popular family-owned business is Boyle Heights in Los Angeles, California. The Torre family was originally in the business of real estate until one day on a property assignment they discovered a small abandoned tamale restaurant. The father and son took a leap of faith, linked with an investment partner, and the rest was history. Today, the taco staple stands strong with seven restaurant locations, including Echo Park, downtown LA, and Pasadena. Quisados. Now, this is like more of a, I wouldn't say it's like upscale, but it's a step up from Cactus. And a lot of people go there, like you'll find like people in Hollywood and stuff will go to Quisados. They also have one in the barrio. So the further east you go, you'll find a location as well. And I love this place because their meats, the stew, like they stew their meats and the seasoning is like marinated throughout the meat, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but the thing is, is that sometimes the tortillas, they are super thick. So if you're not a fan of thick tortillas, this is not the place for you. But if you like homemade, handmade tortillas, definitely guisados. And you know what I like uh, about Guisados is that how, like, when you get there, if you, you can't choose or decide what kind of taco you want, they offer those little mini tacos so you oh, can yes. try different ones. You can pick multiple ones and try it. And that's when I first discovered the um, chicharron uh, with the verde sauce uh, taco. Yes. And this is the only place that I'll eat it from because it's just really delicious and flavorful, that sauce that they have. I tried it someplace else and I was just like, oh no, I can't. So I thought it was the place is for that specific. Yeah. 
Ron and Ryan Usre started a specialties taquito restaurant using their late Mama Karen's beef taquito recipe. Roll em up taquitos comes in a pack of three or five and gives you a choice of five fillings. Beef, chicken, potato, avocado, and cheese. You also have the option between corn or flour tortilla. The taquitos are then topped with shredded cheese, guacamole, sour cream, and a specialty house sauce that comes in spicier mouth. Now, taquitos isn't the only good thing served here at Roll'em Up. There's also street corn. The corn comes on a stick loaded with butter, mayo, Khadija cheese, dusted with hot Cheetos and tahini, or coated in queso. Us Ray opened the first Roll'em Up Taquitos in Chino Hills and a second restaurant at Bria Gateway Center with a third location on the way. Roll'em Up is seeking franchise partners to expand throughout the nation. Oh man, this Roll'em Up Taquito place is wonderful, okay? It's upscale looking like, well, not upscale per se, but just like- More like a franchise, right? Yeah, like a franchise. And that's exactly what um, the family is trying to do, uh, franchise Roll'em Up Taquitos. I've never tried this place, but it looks delicious. I found out about them on Instagram and I, I have to, we have to try it. Yeah, like I've never tried this place, but I'm a big fan of taquitos and flunkas and roll tacos. Like it's crazy because in Texas, they call it taquitos. In California, they call it roll tacos. And you know, San Diego is notorious for having the most crispiest, greasiest, shredded beefiness uh, roll tacos that you can find in California. So it's nice to have a location up here. And I wouldn't say they're like conventional, you know, in a sense, because they're a little bit thicker. It looks like they make them out of flour tortillas. And yeah, most- yes, they can do flour or corn. Mm. Mm, girl. Yeah. Look, my mouth is like, <laughs> I, I think, okay. I, you know what? I think the most important thing about taquitos is that it has that crunch. So if it's thick or yeah. thin, as long as it has that crunch and it, it's not stale. Yeah winner yeah exactly and it has to have meat inside because mm-hmm. i hate when i get a taquito or a roll taco and you bite into it and then it's all like flour it's all like dough or whatever yeah and you're <laughs> like, like where's the meat 